is Suat Irmak and I'm a professor in the Biological Systems Engineering Department and also I am the Interim Director of Nebraska Water Center. Um, I do research, uh, extension and outreach um, activities uh, in general in soil and water resource engineering uh, and under that broad title there are so many different topics that I do research on and try to transfer the knowledge and information to the users. Uh, specifically I do research uh, and extension programs on irrigation engineering, agricultural water management, uh, water productivity, uh, crop physiology and soil, water and atmosphere relationships. I do research on crop stress impact on productivity and I do have a large network of evapotranspiration uh, energy flux measurement network uh, for various landscapes including croplands and natural systems so we do research on all those topics and um, relate this information and data to our farmers crop consultants and other state and federal agency personnel to help them to better manage their uh, water and soil resources. Impact of my work, um, I think it can be characterized in a couple different ways, qualitatively and quantitatively. On the quantitative part, uh, we do do tons of um, efforts to quantify how our information is being used by our farmers and crop consultants and others and how it is impacting data management, management practices and then we compile all the data and then try to understand the total impact to our state for example. Now one example of uh, impact that comes to my mind is our uh, Nebraska Water Management uh, Network, Agricultural Water Management Network where we have more than 800 farmers in our network and um, we implement newer tools and technologies in their fields to enhance uh, irrigation efficiency and also crop productivity, reduce energy consumption used for pumping irrigation water. So we have quantitative data in each field in those 800 plus uh, farmers fields. So we know exactly what is happening in those fields and how much impact we are having in uh, reduction in water pumping from the aquifer uh, and also how much energy is being saved by reducing uh, pumping uh, demand using proper tools and technologies. Uh, qualitatively, of course, we publish our findings and our progress in extension publications, in reports, and especially in, in scientific refuge journal articles that we reach to a larger audience nationally and in internationally. Also, we present our information in local, national, and international conferences, meetings. And, and when we travel around the United States and in other countries, we see some of our programs implemented in their settings. So we see visually uh, the impact of our work in, in a large uh, setting. Our, again, our research is finding that uh, growing season is getting longer. Um, and uh, what we are also finding is it's getting longer by different magnitudes in different locations in the state. So it's different in eastern Nebraska versus western part. Now, if the growing season is getting longer, which that's what we are finding, and we are quantifying by how many days, uh, if it's getting longer, then our farmers can plant longer season crops. And that means more productivity, longer maturity group crops usually yield most of the time yield uh, better yields. So that's a good thing. So after we finalize our research uh, and once we publish our work, uh, then we are going to incorporate this into our extension programs and we are going to organize some uh, extension educational outreach programs throughout the state and we are going to transfer this information to our farmers. Longer growing season, again, I want to emphasize, means they can plant earlier and they can plant longer season uh, maturity group crops which can enhance agriculture productivity significantly. But one also needs to look at longer season, growing season uh, impact on crop water use, how this impacts our water resources, uh, evapotranspiration, irrigation management, 
Um, so these are all related topics, and we are working on all those too. Without any question, climate can be a great enhancer of productivity and can be a huge impediment to agriculture productivity in arid regions, semi-arid regions, of course, where water resources has been diminishing or, or, or being more scarce. And, and so that's, that's a climate impact. But there are some strategies that can be implemented in those arid and semi-arid areas to, to help to enhance productivity. It's very complex subject, uh, but there are some, some good strategies that can be implemented. I have to say that our farmers in Nebraska are some of the best farmers that I know in terms of implementing research-based information into their practices. Once you show them that this information or strategy uh, came from a good quality research, and if you show them quantitatively its potential positive impacts, uh, they don't have any problem implementing those technologies into their practices. Thank you.